So as we have here different kind of transformations, I'm just going to use the one that will allow us to drop topic name prefix. So in that order, I've just created here like this. So first we declare the, uh, the transform, okay? And we say the name, then we use the class. So this class is not now from the vision, it's from Apache Kafka. So they, the, the vision is a type, okay? It's using behind the scenes, the, the Kafka Connect. So it, it can use the classes of Apache Kafka Connect, okay? So what we are doing here actually is we are just trying to, let's say, we need to drop the topic prefix. So in that order, we are using this class here. You can read the documentation in the official documentation also, okay? And now we are using the rejects. Actually, we are going to drop everything till we reach the outbox message. So we just need, the topic will be created as outbox message. Uh, so something like, just like this. We don't need anything else, okay? So in that order, let me just, for example, here, add also the customer okay so we don't need it also and we are removing so as you can see guys in order to apply these changes in my case uh, as we have here this is a let's say rest api right the division is providing us rest api i'm just going to delete and recreate again okay this connector that we have created so in that order i just delete it okay passing the name of our connector as we can see here it's success and now let's recreate it okay let me check the logs everything is okay right and now let's create a new customer for example Elon Musk I don't know when he was born so just like this and now let's go back here on our AKHQ let's refresh let's just take a look here we don't have the outbox message the topic clean okay if we refresh now we will see okay now we have here a new topic created as we expected so just like this and if we take a look here in the message we will see that we have here um the customer created okay the name elon the last name Ma uh, musk right the last name is musk and if you take a look here you will see also that we have here a payload before and and after let's suppose that we are creating event sourcing okay and or any kind of uh, let's say like producing event where you need to specify the original data okay and the change so this is very nice so you can use this approach okay i will show you in the end of this video the the, the message coming here for example if elon Musk change change is um his email address okay we will have before with this information and after with the email changed okay and yeah that's that's good so i think the next thing that we need to do as we can see our clients let's say the consumers of this topic <laughs> will be mad because which kind of information is this maybe they don't need all this metadata maybe they only need okay the payload right and also the ski also is bad so it's happening here because in our configuration, in our Docker Compose, so let's take a look here, okay? In our Docker Compose, we are specifying that key and the value, okay, um, converter are JSON. So that's why we are getting it like that. So we can also fix it. Let's go, let's fix it. So in order to fix it, let me just put here, okay, some information. So I know that it's irrelevant because we have this configuration in our uh, uh, in our setup of Docker Compose, right? But the the only thing that we need to say, okay, the key, let's say like the key, okay, converter schema is disabled, so we don't need that, okay? And the value also, um, we are going to disable it because uh, it will be nice if we are using. Avro, okay, where we can have a very nice structure, okay, so you can explore a little bit more using Avro and so like that. Avro is serialization um, type, okay, and yeah, having it like that, once again, let me just remove this, okay, and now uh, let me recreate with these changes, okay, so we are just specifying here uh, that we are disabling uh, the conversion, okay, let's run okay 
it's nice no error here okay now we just need to create a new customer once again so we have here a new customer so let's create and now let's take a look at the structure that we are going to have here in the message so if we go here now we can see that we have something better actually not here but we can see it here and we have here yeah and we have here uh let's say the before is now and after okay so now we, we we are getting there right so we need actually to make it easier for our consumer so in that order we are going to produce okay we are going to uh, to find a way that we can extract only the relevant information so we are just going to get the the new event nothing else okay so in that order let me just add here for example a new uh, transformation okay a new transform so which is the wrap okay and for example the type actually we can for example let's just copy this let's paste it here okay and the type for this wrap okay so let me change it here I think it's better to put it here okay what is the type for this wrap okay so if we go here in the official documentation we will see that we have here new record state extraction so this is what we are going to use right so we have here the transform and the wrap okay and we specify okay the class so in that order let me just let me just copy here the class and let me paste it here let me just delete what we have and now let's run okay i think it should be like this and now let's just run okay everything's okay as always right if we take a look here okay so um let's see here the newest okay the newest we have it like this so having the new configuration let me create a new customer and let's create the customer all right now if we just refresh the page okay now for Celine Dion which is the new customer that we have created okay now we just got the correct event that we need to produce so this is what we can do man Kafka connect we have a lot of transformers in Man, it's 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 a universe okay it's very simple as we can see the documentation is nice we can add we can extract we can route we can do anything that we want okay you just need to keep playing with the documentation and it's very nice to learn something new so as we can see now we have produced the new event okay and it's not bringing right it's not bringing all that the metadata that we had for example in the old right in the old events there is a difference between let's say this event that we have here with this one right and for example this one here also against this one here right the only thing that we can for example uh, change here okay is the, the the payload but the payload remember guys this is what we are sending okay so this is not the kafka connect problem okay because we are persisting it like that okay guys so maybe the last thing that I would like to show you guys is like it, it can be very hard, right, to configure all the stuff, right, uh, configure, for example, the connector and so on. Actually, the division provides a division UI. So remember, we had it here on our, let's say, Docker Compose, right? We have the division UI and the division UI is running on this port. OK, so if we take a look here, we have here our connector. So using the division UI can be very nice if you need to uh, create different uh, connectors, configuration, and so on, right? So for example, you can just use the UI and start creating your stuff. And it can help you, like the productivity will increase. So guys, this is what we have done here. So far, so good, right? So now I think all, I think all this class here, we can just comment right because we don't need we don't need it anymore right we are producing our events okay using the change data capture which we have just for example in order to avoid 
the the dual right right so we write in our database which contain our entity after that we also persist to our table which contains the event that we want to publish remember this separation is very nice because as like best practice never expose your internal detail so this is what we have done in order to achieve let's say in order to implement transactional outbox pattern okay using change data capture yes yeah, so far so good guys the Bezium is actually very nice tool to move data okay from one system to another system independently from the source okay so what we have accomplished here is if you remember when we had our customer implementation of let's say a transactional outbox pattern okay we had that problem here because sometimes our scheduler could not connect to database and so on. we could for example send the same message multiple times so this because we could not update here for example the value to true okay and we could send it multiple times it could cause for example for the consumers that are not idempotent they could behave like uh, very bad right they could react very bad so what we have done here is we have created here a new a way to solve the dual writes and outbox pattern by using change data capture so our division forget about this line okay but our division will connect to our database directly like reading the bin log and so on okay and will extract all changes that will happen in our database or our table okay and then let's suppose it will if we specify the table let's say outbox table okay it will act automatically uh, let's say send the data to Apache Kafka okay taking from our database to Apache Kafka so we have here very nice thing okay using the division or change data capture concept okay because it will never lose any data okay any event or message okay and also the very nice thing that we can think is that instead of thinking like okay we could duplicate data and so on no the vision provides you can read in the documentation that the vision provide exactly once deliver exactly once deliver mean that we will not duplicate message and we are sure that we will deliver the message okay to kafka so the consumers will have the message in kafka but uh, i'm not telling you guys that this is perfect there are some scenarios where things can go wrong if you read for example the documentation there is a way there is a place where they say that if fault does happen okay then the system does not lose any event it's nice we we still getting the exactly ones however for example if the system is recovering from the fault okay it it might repeat some changes so this is bad right because if it will repeat the changes it means that it can for example once again duplicate message so we are coming back okay to at least once let's suppose that my sql becomes unavailable okay or kafka connect process crash or something like that so in this case reading the official documentation they say that we will go back to at least once semantic which can duplicate the message while delivering so this is very bad man very bad and at least once again if you say it to your boss after doing all this implementation you can see his reaction will be and i've got to say in all honesty um it's the biggest piece of dog shit that i have ever heard so uh, let's suppose that in our company okay we don't have control on our consumers and the business says that we need exactly once okay we can never lose data and they they, they need something like in database right it's uh, accid and we have their transaction like atomic right so is it possible to have exactly once semantic because we don't need at least once at most once we need exactly once so let's take a look what people in community say yeah that's very bad news but the good news here is it's possible in kafka okay the kafka supports exactly once semantic that's what i'm talking about that's why he's the mvp that's why he's the goat the goat <laughs> 
what we are going to implement once again we are going to use spring cloud stream once again with apache kafka and we are going to try to implement exactly one semantic of course we we we, we have shown here like with uh, the vision we can i say like go 90 percent there but we have another uh, let's say approach that we can uh, show you guys okay so guys hope that you enjoyed this video it was very long video but uh for now okay uh we can stop here and in the next video we are going to implement the exactly once semantic using spring cloud stream kafka binder okay and a concept call by we will see in the next video thank you if you like this video don't forget your like if you are not subscribed, please subscribe and yeah, let's go to the next video. Bye bye.